Hey guys, welcome back to All in a Law. This is a medical video lecture, orthopedics. And today we're going to talk about the Garris osteomyelitis. Okay guys, so in previous video we discussed about the Brody's abscess and in this video we're going to talk about the Garris osteomyelitis. So it's a very small topic, okay, and it has uh, so many different names like proliferative periosteitis, proliferative, proliferative periosteitis. Okay, or it's also called as periosteitis ossificans, or it's also known as Garris sclerosing osteomyelitis. Okay, and it's a very rare disease, remember. And in this, is, it's nothing but it's a sclerosing non separative chronic osteomyelitis. It's a sclerosing non separative chronic osteomyelitis. Okay. So it's a separative, it's, a, it's a what you call it's a non separative, it's a sclerosing chronic osteomyelitis, remember. And it mainly affects the children and the young, young adults. It affects the children and young adults. Okay? So, what's the most common bone to be involved is remember, it's a mandible. Okay, it's a mandible. And what is the cause why the mandible is affected? Because of a tooth infection. Tooth infection. Okay, it begins with what you call acute local pain, then paraxia and swelling. Okay, the paraxia and the pain subsides, but the fusiform osseous enlargement persists. Remember, fusiform osseous. Enlargement persist. Okay. If you palpate, there's a deep tenderness. Okay. Tenderness is present. Deep tenderness is there on deep palpation. Okay, remember. Then what you call there won't be any discharging sinus. No discharge sinus. No discharge sinus. Okay. The shaft of the femur or tibia can also be affected. Okay. But remember, mandible is going to be what you call the most common. Right, guys? So, what you call then, uh, if you take in what you call x rays, x ray. Okay, if a mandible shows irregular, lucent, or opaque changes with subperiosteal opaque layering. Irregular, lucent, or opaque, opaque changes with subperiosteal opaque layering along the inferior border. Okay, and it is a chronic osteomyelitis with the superosteal bone and the collagen deposition can be seen. Okay, right. And what happens? What is the important thing that you should do is you have to differentiate this from is there any tumor of the bone like having sarcoma or osteosarcoma? You have to differentiate, right? That's really very important. Okay, what's the treatment? Treatment. If you talk about the treatment, is what you call. Um, it can be the acute symptoms can be subsided with the rest and the broad spectrum antibiotics. Antibiotics. 
Okay, in severe cases, you can do what you call uh, making holes in the bone to bring what you call relief in the pain. Making holes. Okay, guys. So these are the important what you call points. Get is osteomyelitis. So remember, uh, it's a sclerosing non separative chronic osteomyelitis. Okay, uh, right. Very important and it's very, most common age group that is affected is children and young adults, and um, the most common bone affected is mandible. Female and tibia can be affected also. At the same time, and. Um, What's the treatment is uh, if this is mild then you can treat with a breast and a broad spectrum antibiotics If it's severe you can make a hole in the bone to release the pus. Okay guys So thank you so much for watching this video. Take care